Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today I just wanted to talk about what a clock spring is. I made a video, I made two videos actually, removing the clock spring on both the Mustang and my wife's Infinity, and uh, they can vary from car to car, but since uh, I have a lot of people asking, I'm going to make a quick video just of uh, what the clock spring is basically and how to get to it. So um, basically on the car, the clock spring is going to make it so that when you turn the steering wheel, you can still have electrical connection to the airbag, the cruise control buttons, any electrical uh, that has to do with the steering wheel. And in the case of the Infinity, it was even the radio and cruise control buttons on the steering wheel that were affected by the, the clock spring, and I didn't even know that that was going to fix it until I changed it. I was uh, mainly changing it because the horn was not working unless you turned the steering wheel and then honked, and that's a pretty common sign with the clock spring and it allows you to turn the steering wheel and not get it all twisted up. And so that's, a, that's pretty much what the clock spring does. Uh, to get to it, you take off the airbag, and once again, I have videos on this, so I'll put the link to both of those in the description, and it's pretty similar for all cars. It's, about, it's the same process for the most part. But uh, you'll take the airbag out, then you'll take off the nut uh, that holds the steering wheel on, use a puller, and remove the steering wheel from the column. So as you do that, you're going to put the wires through there that went to the airbag. And so this is the clock spring itself. And so they come off in different ways. On this car, you just click down on this tab and you pull it out. But I wanted to show you on this one, so this is on a Mustang. You can see it has this electrical cable here that's controlling the airbag, uh, pretty much is all this one's doing. But you can see that it retracts and spins. So as you turn the steering wheel, it unravels and then it will ravel back up um, as you turn the steering wheel back. And so it's using this uh, ribbon style electrical connection so that you can do that. So this allows you to, to turn the steering wheel and still have a good electrical connection. Um, on the Mustang, then some of the other controls are separate from the clock spring. But uh, what I wanted to show you is this is the clock spring out of the Infinity that I did, and it's a little more complex. There's a few things about it. If you look here on the back, it has electrical connections as part of the clock spring, and these uh, control the windshield wiper lever, it controls the turnstock indicator, headlights, all kinds of things will actually plug into and uh, be part of the clock spring. So it does vary from car to car. You, it does, you can't just say that the clock spring only does the airbag, because in this case it does more than that. It's all one assembly. Also, when installing this, this has a little guard on it that you'll see here and so you got to put this back on exactly where it is or you're going to have steering wheel control sensors that are going to give you trouble and then once you have it installed you pinch and remove this uh, clip here but you can see it was lined up here and so if you uh if you get one of these used and install it then it might be a problem you'd want to line it up and you kind of need this guard to know exactly where it needs to line up so that it's not going to cause any trouble. So anyway, this is the one off of the Infinity, and it was not held on in the middle here by anything. It was uh, some bolts here in the bottom, and uh, it was actually the two here. You can see down in there, there were two screws that held this assembly on. So anyway, that's the clock spring. These go to the airbag as well. So this allows the airbag to turn and go different directions uh, without uh, ruining anything. And uh, these are stationary in the back, but it also is controlling you know, the turnstock indicator and that kind of thing. So anyway, that's what the clock spring is. 